This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the last day of the week, and almost wrapping up the month of May. We're looking at on this 26th day of May, the Dow's up 241. What I said to subscribers this morning, the Dow's extremely oversold. We've got a Chapman Wave Roman candle. We need to close above that, certainly not get into halfway of the wick. And here we are up $240. Finally, we're looking at a decent session. It is an oversold session, but I have to tell you, there's a lot that I'm looking at. I don't know when anything, uh, any economic news event that's so well publicized has actually turned out the way that the market initially started to think of it. So we'll see what happens here. So 33,000. Uh, we're looking at the Dow, very nice, finally got back to 33,000. 33,000, I think it's 130, is the 200-period moving average resistance. The S&P had a fabulous couple of days, um, and now it's, uh, sorry, a couple of days with a turnaround yesterday, including today, up uh, 30 points at 4180. Um, I'm wondering if we aren't going to get, by Wednesday, we aren't going to get that missing leg D above 4212.91 maybe even just under it, and then we'll see what happens. QQQ, of course, had a spectacular session yesterday. Well, you won't believe it, but today it's up again, up almost $4 at 343.66. Buying is coming in. So I'll talk about that in my show coming up in the next few minutes, the Tiger Technician's Hour. This is it's fascinating to see what's happening through this upside rotation through the different sectors. Now, I just wanted to do this quickly while we've got time. Gold. Uh, gold tried to rally. It's up about $4, 1966. It's really struggling here. But at the same time, the dollar's had a very good move to the upside. Not a spectacular move, just a good move to the upside. Today, it's stalling down 10 ticks at one of 4.16. Uh, I'll be talking about that as well. But here we go. The TLT. Wow, what a move down. TLT is right at the 100.38 level. I said that 99 left side low that we looked at recently, 99 or 98, that area is just going to be sacrosanct. A break under that would say yields are actually going to go quite a bit higher. I'll be back in a few minutes. Check out my Tiger Technicians Hour. And also mention that I'll be talking to the, uh, on, a, on the web, uh, Boston Investors Group on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. I'll talk about it when we get back. <laughs> 